What's up brawlers and welcome to my brand new channel Epic Way to Play where as you can see we're going to be going over all things Bakugan. Um, having recently got into Bakugan I think from the end of September with my son uh, we've started to build up quite a small collection um, and obviously I'm going to show you some of the things we've got today but uh, the real inspiration for me wanting to start a YouTube channel uh, as came from the other YouTubers uh, and the community around Bakugan. So uh, we, we're talking about Jet Kuso, we're talking about D-Heart, Bakubrad96, Hyrule Ren, Fusions, Kimbo, um, Jesse, and there's there's so many to name, but have, watching their videos, it just, it brings me joy to see their pack openings, their unboxings, and, and I just want to be able to share that experience and my experience with you guys as well so so let's uh take you a little show of what we have and what we're going to be going through today so uh we have some diamond rare enoch ultra sets apilius we've got also the ultra rare Halcor there we've got the monster jam truck to go over we've got some battle strike packs brand new legends crocalius ultra sets some more uh, Geogun Brawler packs. There's the Cyrus Legends there. More Brawler packs. Fennica Ultra. Age of Aurelus cards, including the whole box there unopened. Battle uh, Brawler triple sets and Resurgence. Lots of them. We've got Halcor Ultra here. We've got the Funko Pop. We've got some Diamond Wrath and Elemental Rare, Rare Platinum Series Nilius at the back there. We have also got Elemental Rare Grizzwing and brand new Legends Elemental Rare Grizzwing. Sorry, that was Sectonoid, but this is Elemental Rare Grizzwing. Have not opened this yet. Can't wait to open this. But today we are going to be starting off with the Geogun Brawler Pack. So let's get to it. With Pyrus Stardox and Ventus Bubba Jewel. We also have an Aquas, a Pyrus and another Chaos Bakugan. Uh, so let's turn it around and see exactly what they are. There you go. So we have uh, Aquas Nilius, looking awesome. Chaos Farasco. Uh, I think most people say it resembles Cubbo. Yes, yes. But I don't own a single Cubbo, though I have seen it, and I guess I think they must open in a similar way. Uh, and there we have a Pyrus Falcron. Looks pretty awesome there. So yeah, let's get to it. Cards, I imagine. You get box. Let's take a look at that cards in just a minute for now. Let's get this pinged up. One there. And the one right at the back there. Can you see? Nice. Let's release Stardox. Nice. I think that's about it for the screw tapes. Oh, there we have. Bubba Girl, I based off of Mandrill Monkey, I think. Don't know, I'm going to um, look at Stardox. Look at Stardox there, look at that. Awesome with the flame in red, the lovely orange there, and I really like the detail in the eye, the green eye there. That does look put awesome, and then the tiny little green bits there. But we'll take a closer look in a minute. Let's see if the rest. Back with the Okay, Aquas Nilius is eager. He's been, oh, the foot comes out. He's desperate, he's desperate. Look at him, look at just instantly opening. Look at that, how eager was he? Couldn't wait to get out there and wreak havoc. Look at those green eyes. Wait a minute. Okay, so, 
Okay, so the middle and the left one got green eyes, and then this one's got orange eyes. I think I've seen other people open them and they've got different different versions. Like I think one had just green eyes on the right hand side. Orange orange. Don't know. I've seen a few YouTubers. Maybe we'll want to take a look at that. Take a look at that in a minute. Come on, Falcon. There we go. There's Brasco. Let's yeet the packaging. Okay, so let's take a look at these guys. Falcon's already opened here, so let's take a closer look at Falcon. Look at that. Pyrus red, green beak, big orange eyebrows. <laughs> I love the uh, detail on the wing there. You can see all the, all the, the lines coming across there. Each uh, each wing, all the feathers there. Nice green, nice green for that lime green, I would say. So, oh yeah, the feet just pop out there. You can sit in there. Actually, we'll open up the uh, cords just so we've got something to roll them onto and help them stand. And we'll see what the uh, cards are. So we see what cords go with which. If anyone hasn't seen the list, I actually haven't seen the list. Because I just started collecting uh, Bakugan recently with my son. There we go, Pyrus, uh, Stardox, and... Where's Bubba Draw? There it is. Oh, so you can get him in Praeus, Chaos, and is that Darkus? I think so. I think that's Darkus as well. Available. Let's get that over there for a minute. Here we are. So we've got some of the cores here. So we've got a uh, orange shield minus, uh, sorry, plus 300. That's not bad. Oh, there we go. We've got the Helix, the best or the strongest one with the uh, 600 B power minus three damage. Minus 100 B power, but plus four damage. Another Helix. Another Trap, minus 300 orange shield. Same again, another trap, very trap heavy, minus 300 orange shield. And another trap, well, kind of, maybe, minus 200 plus five damage. So obviously good for the damage, but I think people hitting a helix are probably gonna think that people are running the 600 plus 600, so it could be considered a trap there. Let's get off to the side as well. Now let's get these cards out. So let's see what goes with what. So we got, oh look at that, Gorfion, Hayos Gorfion uh, for the first gate card. And we've got 300 for Pyrus, 100 for Aquos, 300 for Ventus, 600 for Hayos, obviously, 200 for Aurelius, and Darkus is worst off with Aquos with just 100 there. Pop them over there. And we have, is it Pyrabian? I don't know. I'm still fairly new to Bakugan. Maybe you can tell me in the comments what one this is. Minus 200 for Pyrus, 700 for Aquos, uh, also 700 for Aegis, obviously they're the uh, strongest ones for this one. This is very trap heavy really, minus 200 for Ventus, minus 200 for Hayas, and uh, 700 for Darkus there. So obviously yeah, great if you're going up against a Pyrus, Ventus and Hayas uh, faction deck, and I think they are. I, I would consider them to be the strongest actually, the Pyrus, Hayas and Ventus. So maybe this is good anti-meta, if there is a meta. Pop that one there. Oh, I think it's, is it Gilator? Uh, so it's minus 200 for Pyrus, 700 on the Aquas there, 700 on the Ventus, minus 200 for Chaos, 700 Aurelius, minus 200 again on the Darkus, but it looks awesome there. I love these gate cards. I actually got the numbers on there. Number 22 and what was uh, this one? 23 and Gorfion is... Number three, so we can uh, look them up exactly what they are. Okay, so we will take a look at them in order then. So we have uh, Nilius there, which is 400 B power. It's got the two orange shields uh, and 600, uh, sorry, six damage. Now, I don't play much TCG because obviously I know it's not really a thing, although we all want it. I think hashtag we want cards. I think everyone knows that by now. But 400 start and base power, not the strongest, so don't really see it being a competitive, competitively used battle gun. Um, looks awesome though, and I do like the Aquas faction. 
It's got very good detail in the chest. You can see it's pecs. Uh, I do like the eyes. The little orange uh, feet look awesome. The way it opens is pretty cool. Let's have a try and close it up. See, see if we can do it. Um, don't know which order. Head, feet, other head. No. Let's try. And does that just swing round? Oh wait, this seems. Did I do it wrong? We'll have to just reopen it. Maybe the feet first, I think. Yeah, then the head. That's it. The, the head locks in the feet just there. So that's pretty awesome. I uh, think then are we good for the other heads to go down? That looks about right. We can swing over the wings. Well, if it's wings. And then just that. Click into there. That head wants to come out. There you go. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that close is not too bad actually. Once you uh, obviously know it a little bit of practice, that closes quite well. So let's just uh, give it a quick roll. Of course. First time. You know, if you don't count the missed time. Look at that, awesome. So we'll just leave him sitting over there for now. That's, uh, that's Nilius. Let's put the card there. Next one, we're looking at Falcron. Where is he? There he is. Okay, Falcron. So again, uh, 700B, that's a little bit stronger. Comes with the two hel um, Helix. Uh, uh, cause so obviously that's strong obviously helix strongest one being 600 bringing them up to 1300 uh, no damage though if you want to go that route because obviously you're sitting at just one lowly damage but if you're going for the uh, b power wins and then you've got other ways to boost up your damage with the cards then yeah maybe a very good uh, pyrus background for that so let's just take a closer look at uh, falcon as mentioned before we've got the uh, nice i really like the lime green uh, beak there, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's try and get focused there. Yeah, and we've got the orange on the top, like I said, the nice orange eyebrows and the uh, beautiful green wings. His arms, they're static, they don't move, they don't come out, but the feet, little, little feet moving, I suppose that helps him stand without a core. Yeah, so he doesn't need a core, but that's okay, that's good. I think this one looks like it's fairly easy to close. Maybe we do legs again. Oh, no, the head goes back on this one. Uh, then legs. Yeah, head back, then legs, then the wings come in, just like that, and then yeah, the towel just to close up at the back. Very easy one to close that one. So yeah, I like, like that one a lot. You can see the magnet at the bottom there, right next to the arrow. I'm gonna roll it backwards, because then I think it opens well for the camera maybe. Nope, failed. Right, so it would have been bad to roll it forward. And yeah, but we opened the first time on that one, so yeah, there he is. In all his glory. That's Falcon. Pop that over there. Okay, for Rascal. What is this? Is it like a dog cat? I don't know. Uh, gonna get roasted. I don't know what that one is. But Chaos. Oh, and look at his Helix as well. Oh, wow. And 500B, uh, but you land on a Helix, you get 600. But that's not including the 600 from the actual Helix itself. So instantly landing on a Helix gets you 1200B. That's added to the 500. So that's going to put them at, uh, well, 1700B. That's really competitive. Again, though, that's the problem with Helix. Um, strong Helix, less damage. And I suppose they know that. That's obviously why they're putting that there. So you'll have to find other ways to make your damage up um, if you do that, you play and uh, land on the Helix there. I think um yeah I think I think it's a really good card though I do like that getting up to 1700 B off of the roll that's pretty strong I'd say that might win quite a few times um yeah I like that a lot so yeah it's just a well let's get let's get him open shall we or her wow really gonna completely miss and again I am gonna clean this up in editing first time. There you go. There you go, after the slow roll. So yeah, look at that, Hayos. I was gonna say Cabo, no, Farascal. Hayos Farascal, got the blue eyes there with the, I don't know, what is this, like a teal, teal color down the nose and on the ears. It just 
pops open there just at the bottom got a back oh that's his little towel yeah towel comes across a little blue bit on the towel I like that extra detail they've got the symbol there actually where is the b power on oh there you go so the b power I didn't even look on the other ones but the b power right on the inner ear there for 500 so yeah that's pretty cool um easy way to close this one i'm pretty sure we just go boom 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 and there you go that's easiest close i love the way that this is closed you can still see his little mouth in there that's pretty awesome with the tiniest little fangs so yeah for rascal pretty cool i like that one definitely really good getting up to 1700 off the roll but like i say um not going to do any damage so you're going to have to find ways to make damage for that one so i know it's not a geogun but you know there you go we're going to drop it like it is because i don't trust my rolls Ah, and here's so we've got some action cards. Aquas Bright Beams. Uh, one energy cost, we all like that. Uh, Baku action, so it will give for it's Aquas and Haos. Uh, so you have to have them in your deck or running them. And we have uh, two for the damage, and you draw one. So, okay. And obviously, we know that drawing is quite good, but it affects your life in the Pro TCG. And I really do hope they bring that back. I, I really want to be able to play that. So at the moment, just trying to collect cards off of um, eBay or different sites. But um, no, we don't want it to be like that. It'd be good if someone can make a, an app um, with the game and play the cards on, on, the, uh, on the app. I would really buy into that. I might try and look at designing that myself, maybe. Uh, there you go. So Aquas Brightbeam. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And here we are, one for Pyrus and Ventus, and 1500B, that's really strong. And is that, is that, is that Falcron but Ventus? Maybe, I don't know, and I don't know what's going on down there, or what that is, can't quite make it out. Six energy costs though, so obviously Fusion Thunder Run, quite a big energy cost. When you break it down uh, per B, what is that, about 250? 255, yeah, so it's about 250 uh, per one energy and no, I think that's okay not too bad I think one for 300 is really good but Ventus themselves have a lot of uh, minus 400 minus 500 as well so don't know whether it's uh, good to play this uh, over over some of them so there we go that's good uh, flash attack for Haos uh, two energy costs look at what's going on here what is that shark tar drago Oh, that inset mute is that mute sect? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You're gonna have to help me in the comments. Sorry, I'm a total noob when it comes to back card. Back action card two energy with five damage. That's brilliant. I like that. I like that ratio. And here we are four energy for twelve damage. So that's essentially one for three. Um, and again, it's for Pyrus and Ventus. Searing Ventusun. Searing Ventusun. Not bad. I yeah, I like that. And uh, yeah, again, you have to help me with who these back on our is it talent? Maybe not. I don't know. You can help me. There we go. So that's good. And here we are with Fire Floor. Uh, so what's that? Oh, okay, one cost. That's good. Uh, deals an extra two damage and scan. And I think scan is um, an ability where you can look at the top card of your deck and then choose to either put it on the bottom or uh, leave it back on the top. And, and I suppose that could really help with uh, things like uh, using abilities for, um, uh, what's his name, Dan Cuso's uh, hero card, perhaps, or or Leah, you know, if you're looking to drop a hero. Uh, yeah, so definitely, uh, for one cost, that's pretty good to do that, get that extra look, get, get that extra information. I do like that a lot. But there, here we go. Sorry, maybe should have jumped straight to these first before looking at the action cards. We have the Geogun. We have... The Bubba Drill, and only a one cost Geogun, that's pretty awesome. That's obviously very usable from the off. First turn, uh, landing on this, uh, 1000B, 500 with the Green Fist, so I think best Green Fist is uh, 150. So yeah, that'll give you 1650B, turn one. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty uh, pretty awesome, that's very good. And here we go, look at, look at these, I mean this is, this is really nice. Look at the detail on that. Look at her face. You can just about make out the eyes there. Bubba Drill's eyes there. The nose. Love, loving the uh, nose coming down the 
is that yellow yeah or oh, and then we've got the, obviously the dark green the lime green and the translucent green all make this pretty pretty cool there yeah i like that where is the b power did we see the bit oh there it is on the inside i don't know if you can see that because my light in there just in there you can see there that's a 1000 base b power for turn one that's going to be pretty good but um yeah, unlike Nanogun, obviously the Geogun cards, I think they have to be in your deck. So, yeah, but that's that's pretty cool. We do like that. Yeah, how does this close then? Goodness me, probably going to spend an age trying to figure out. So, what, head head back in, um, body, towel, up, and then, ah, ah, right, okay. So, we fold, I believe we fold them, and then twist it around. Yeah, look at that. And we fold that, and then twist it. Oh, is it? Yes, look at that. So there we have it. Oh, that looks like that was a... Oh, uh, yeah, because obviously this is, I think, part of the V-Lock connector. So I think you would use that to connect with it there. But yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. So obviously we do, we have this, and I've got a core here. So we'll just try it. You're supposed to hold it from a card's length up, and then, well, it opened, but it completely jumped across and... Uh, it would still count, but I did not pick up the car, so pretty weak open. But there you go, look at that. Papa Jewel looks awesome. So I'm gonna move him to the side. And then finally, we've got our Stardox. Five energy costs for 2300B, and it's got a built-in re-roll. Uh, well, although I suppose you're not actually rolling it, you're dropping it, a built-in re-drop. Um, free damage okay uh, 2300 that seems pretty good to me for the five energy costs just coming in fifth turn dropping a 2300 plus 650 if you land on a magic shield that's up to 2950 but uh, yeah that's that's pretty that's pretty cool and, and look at that look at all these effects here was that the flaming effect around that I like that the piercing eyes yeah that does look pretty awesome so here we have the Dugan itself nice little bowl head there this, I, think, I imagine it's just easy to close we just yeah oh you have to fold it back and then push it in and then does it matter which way i don't think so let's just try and close oh he says that but no no that closed fairly easy there we've got the pyro symbol right there uh i didn't look for the bpl but we'll have a look when we try and open it so here we go for the open can we get it we can Here it is. So where's that B power? Oh, right there. Look on the back of the neck there. Easy to see really now. You think about it, 2,300 B power right on the back. And yeah, that looks pretty awesome. Okay, so yeah, that was the uh, Geogun uh, Brawler pack with the Stardox and Bubba Drill. Moving all this aside, got something a little extra. We are gonna open. An Age of Aurelius uh, pack. And we're going to see if we can pull uh, either Leah, Clone Army, or Shun is what I'm looking for, really, isn't he? So let's get it open. There it is. Open nice and clean. Look at that. Okay, let's get it. Uh, actually, these cards have got a little, yeah, little tab here, haven't they, to make it easy. Oh, they didn't do a great deal. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting in there. Oh, we see Venice. We see Venice, but this is the biggest tease. We actually going to get... No, we're not going to have to get scissors. We're not that desperate. All right, here we are. Wow. Look at that. Ventus Web Whip. Uh, a flip. Two cost stops Aurelius, Darkus, and Pyrus. Okay, not bad. Sleep Wave. Uh, minus four damage, a radius power. If you have an Aurelius Battle Gun on your team, energize this uncharged. Stick with true Venus style for quick uh, energizing to ramp up that energy. That's pretty good. Ventus Body Slam, four, uh, four costs for minus 900B. I don't know whether, I mean, that's, I mean, it seems pretty, obviously it's pretty good, but I think there are better um, value ratio cards to have than maybe that one. Hyper Cindius. Uh, so it's an Evo card. 10 damage for only 3 energy, but 
very low B uh, power. Ah, uh, but with a magic shield plus an extra seven. So yeah, this is very much a, a damage uh, wins card. I think you would want to play that with Mac or some of the other damage win uh, cards. Uh, there he is. Uh, Hyper Cubo, I think everyone's favorite. No? No? Sure? Okay, Hyper Cubo, 600 B power, seven damage, only a two cost uh, evolution. What do we have here? Uh, Might of Darkness, free energy cost for plus 500 and two damage. Yeah, it's okay. I think, um, I think maybe, I think a lot of cards, darkest cards are like this, where they do a bit of both. So it's kind of like a jack of all trades, but master of none. And I think when you're playing these cards, you either need a lot of B power, you want to focus on the B power, or you want to focus on damage. So not too sure um, how much of a fan I am of the mix of both, because I don't think it's kind of a weak for both rather than a strong for all for one. And here we have another flip. Uh, Fang strike. Only one card stops a radius. If you do, make a pirate attack for four. Wow. So you definitely want to be able to run that in a uh, uh, against a mono chaos would be great. Uh, be good to have a side deck. If you're playing um, the TCG, I mean, you can change it to have like a side deck and you'd fill it with the necessary flips that would do the most work. And going up against a mono, you'd definitely side this in. Oof. Here we have Hyper Scorpros. That looks pretty awesome. 800 for free energy, 800 uh, B power, five damage, underdog. So what does that, what's our underdog do? When this opens, it has lower, uh, uh, if it has lower B power than the opposing battle bomb, plus 10 damage. Well, the thing is though, if you've got lower B power, you need something to give you more B power because you can have all the damage you want, but if you can't win the uh, B power, then yeah, you're not gonna get to do that damage. Although if you're just below it and you can just boost it up. <gasps> oh, wow. Awesome, straight away, awesome, rare, the Bakugan Elite, Winton, wow. Your Bakugan have plus one damage for each energy uh, card you have. It is a high cost, but we, we've got one of the main guys, one of the main guys, Winton there, and, oh my god, no way. Wow, look at this, look at this. For double Winton, oh, this is, I mean, this is just the best pack ever, right? I mean, look at that. So we've got the awesome Bakugan Elite, uh, just the, the regular, and then we've got the Hex version, it's back to back. Look at those for heroes. I mean, if that was Leo, that would be, uh, that's what I want next. Uh, a little, little bit of damage on top there, but I mean, what an amazing pull. What an amazing pull for these guys. Look at that. I mean, tell me, tell me in the uh, in the comments your polls if there have been anything like these. But that that was amazing. Well, I think that about uh, wraps it up for this video, guys. Obviously, I'll be opening. I've got some other uh, evolutions, other Geogun Brawlers uh, packs there. But um, this is my first video, so if you do like it, do like the layout, please let me know. Um, and obviously, I'll, I'll continue making more. Or if there's anything you think I could do better or different, again, like I say, first video. So welcome, welcome to suggestions. Uh, I need to get light and sorted. I know as I'm moving here, I'm getting the shadows in the way. So I do apologize about that. But hopefully you like this video. And if you do, um, yeah, the usual spiel, I think. Like, comment, and subscribe. I, I, I'd look to do more of these openings with more of these cards. I've got a bunch of cards. I've also got some Battle Brawler cards. And uh, uh, I've got tons of Resurgence to open as well. But fancy uh, an Age of Horrorless. And what a, what a pack to choose. I mean, wow. Look at that, I didn't even see that these were the, the rare cards actually. Yeah, sorry, these ones were the rare cards. Double Winton for the pulls, that's amazing. Look at that, beautiful. All right, take care, and keep on brawling, bye.